which is ethically right, they say, and morally right, they say. I'm a 25 year old man who's lived a life, a good life. I have two children that I want to get home to. The doctors here in this ward that I'm being held at, I'm in the Laffand ward in St Pancras in Camden. They've just held me down and injected me with promethazine in my mum. Like, that's some joke thing. Like, <laughs> you'd have to laugh at it. I'm actually traumatised. I can't believe what has just happened to me. I haven't done nothing wrong to no one. I never asked for this. <laughs> I witnessed my mum be raped and be killed. Yeah, she was raped. She was murdered. My mother was Diana, Princess Diana. My father was Prince Dodi Al Fayed. Yeah. I was shot through my head. As a two year old child, you can see the, sc the scar wound by a 2 2 bullet. And I was shot through my chest. I have the proof, I have the scars, I was tortured. I'm suffering from systemic abuse. I've been sectioned under a Section 2 Mental Health Act, which gives doctors the right to, to take my liberties away and my freedom away, and to lock me in a room and hold me down and inject me with medicines and promethazine. After, after Prince Charles and the Queen and other members of, of a Zionic, Zionist satanic cult ordered and instructed my mother to be murdered and raped by Gambian officials, I, w I witnessed my father be ordained as the king. They was married and my mother was killed. I was then ordained as hand of the king. This might be a lot for you lot to understand or to hear, but this is the truth, and this is who I am. I know who I am, I know the life I've lived. My name is Cody Romeo Armani Fired. I'm not, I'm, I'm currently being held under section two of a mental health act, being told that I, I have mental mental health issues and I'm suffering from psychosis and grief. I'm suffering from grief and stress. I've just been attacked. I've just been held down against my will and forcefully injected in in my right in my right fire buttocks cheek with promethazine. For what reason? I haven't intimidated no one. I haven't argued with no one. I haven't kicked off or nothing. The only thing I did was refuse the medicines what they, the doctors have prescribed for me, which were opiate-based. The doctors on this ward prescribed me and told me I had to comply if I wanted to get my freedom or my liberty back. And the medicines they prescribed for me, I told them I only would take holistic or therapeutic remedies or medicines, such as I would like to have water and vegetables and something to eat and fruit. They prescribed me a medicine called clomazepam. You could look it up and emulsipride. And they, and they, are, deri they are derivatives of benzodiapine. And benzodiapine is an is a opioid-based opioid medicine, drug, opium. It comes from the poppy seed, heroin. And the reason I refused that medicine and that medication because I know that only destroys your in insides and your intestines and your liver. I'm a very intelligent man and I know my things. I know what I've gone through. Some of you might say, stop weed and laugh at me. And this is a joke. This is not a joke. This is not an attention seeking. This is a cry for help. I'm currently being held in the Lafan ward in St. Pancras under a mental health act which has got nothing to do with me. I'm a, I'm a healthy man. I'm a normal healthy man. I look after myself. 
I keep myself clean. I, I cook, I clean for myself. I have freedom of speech. And furthermore, I know who I am and I know what I remembered and what I've witnessed, yeah? I've been cut. I've been stabbed. I've been shot at. I've had numerous attempts on my life. I've witnessed murders. I witnessed my mum be raped in front of me, my biological mother, Diana. That is the reason, that's the whole reason to why is when they said that there was a collision or a car crash in, in their escorted convoy of re, re, re instilled bulletproof glass Mercedes vehicles which were meant to withhold impacts and why, why the cover up of the scene of the crime was covered up within hours and there was never any type of investigation and it was swept under the carpet, why? Because this is acts of evil and this evil just going on and then being the end of the day, I'm distressed right now. I've just been held down by five men in masks and they, they've injected me with promethazine, which is completely wrong. I know I would never take that. And they've got no just, there's no morality, there's no ethics. You can't say that's ethical. I'm a humble man who's, who's sitting on my, just sitting in my room, minding my business. I was just about to have something to eat. And I've just been forcefully injected and apparently it's all lawful, under law. Me a man, royalty, related to royalty. Take, take this how you want it. Believe. I want you to remember me and remember my face. My name is Cody Romeo Armani Fired. Yeah, my father was Dodi Al Fired. My mother had to give birth to me prematurely. I was three, mu three months. I was three months. I was, I was. She was only three months pregnant when she had to have a antenatal <sighs> so, so weird. She had to be induced, and I was raised in an incubator. I remember being two years old and going down for trips to Harrods and picking out dogs and, and walking around Harrods with my dad, Muhammad Al Fayed's son, who Muhammad Al Fayed never agreed with, never liked, really. I would like this to be spread. I would like people to know and hear my story. And here what's happened to me. I'm feeling kind of drowsy right now. And I can't believe what has just happened to me. And the systemic abuse which I'm suffering. I'm, I'm locked in a room right now. I've just been held down on that bed by five men. And I've been injected twice. By 100 milligrams of promethazine. With no just cause. Can somebody please help me and listen to me and help me and help me with this plight? I don't know what what to what to say. If people want me to come off here and say stop talking your shit, it's not shit I'm talking. I swear on with my whole heart on everything I love and everything I believe. I would not be I would not draw myself out on here to to embarrass myself or talk nonsense. I don't lie. I just speak the truth. I do not lie. When I was three years old, I was given handlers. I met a woman called Angela Stevenson, and I was told this woman would be my mum. For the last 20 years, she has been my mum. She's been a good woman. She's helped raise me. But I know who my birth parents are. My dad was a man called Robert Powell, who was murdered, assassinated, set up by Dutchavelli and by his friend Fire and his other two friends, Jeezy and Beezy and whoever, the ones who shot my dad when they were standing right next. I have people trying to ring me right now to stop me from saying what I have to say. I witnessed murders. 
I've witnessed rape. I've been abused and I've been a victim. I'm still a victim right now. The royal family is racist. The Mountbatten family is racist. They, they did not want me to be half related to the future king of England or related to the royal family whatsoever because my, my birth parents, my father was Muslim. Dodi Al Fayed is my father, is my real biological father, he's a Muslim man. You can check my DNA, it's real, it's facts. The things I've gone through, it's real, it's facts. When I was 15, 16 years old, Prince Charles come to my mother's house and not Diana. See, I have people trying to ring me, people stop ringing me because I've got to speak my words. Stop ringing. Westy, stop ringing my phone. Westy, stop ringing my phone. Because you haven't rang my phone in months, mate. Stop ringing me now to stop me speaking my truth, bruv. I don't want to speak to you. I don't want to speak to you. I want to say what I've got to say. Yeah? People, please stop ringing my phone. Stop ringing me right now. If I want to speak to you, if I've got time to speak to you, I'll call you. Stop ringing me, please. My biological parents is Dodi Al Fayed and Princess Diana of Wales. I was a baby. I remember being in Paris. Right now I've got people ringing me to stop me stop me from speaking and say what I've got to say. I got cut in my face when I was a kid. Yeah. I was just about to turn 21 by a man called Julio, who was hired by a man called Ratty, the rat. I think his name's Paul McKenzie. He is a man who has links all over. He's from Tottenham. He has links all over London and he's one of the top criminal boss underlords. And he has been in charge of making sure that I've suffered. As you can see here, this is where I got shot through my head. I don't, I don't know. Can you see the small dimple and imprint of the bullet hole? Yeah, that's exactly where I got shot through my head by a 2-2 bullet but it didn't it didn't it just about pierced my skull it didn't touch my cranium my amygdala my my prefrontal cortex or any lobes at all i got shot through my chest hit right here but luckily the, the woman who shot me was dyslexic and she couldn't tell her left from her right and she didn't know that your heart is on your left side of your body I've got the same, I, the bullet went straight through me. I've got the same wound on the back, on my back. I've been attacked. I've been a victim for many years. Yeah. Chippy. Chippy. Your dad's name's Buffett. Chippy, you was there. You watched them kill my dad, sir. You smashed that grey goose. You smashed that Ciroc bottle on the floor and laughed why they killed my dad. And the reason I didn't punch your face off is because you're not worth my level. You're just a skinny little crackhead, bro. Stop smoking food. At the end of the day, listen, it's not about that anyway. My name is Cody Ro... One second. Hello. One second, I'll be back.